Well, welcome. I'm David Lindsay. I'm the head of the senior college. And uh, as your year 10 parents, you won't know us very well. And I've been doing this job for about five years. And I'm Sonia Witheridge. I'm deputy head of senior college. And I've been doing this job for two years. We'd especially like to welcome new families to the school. There's about 20 new families in coming into Year 10 from outside the school. And we'd also like to welcome all of the Year 9 students who are now coming across the road to join us in the Senior College based at the BBC. Uh, from that point of view, we'd really like to encourage you to meet up with uh, other families who are already part of the Senior College or have been or are coming into the Senior College so that that osmosis process of getting to know what's going on uh, is helped along. You may at this point be wondering why Year 10 is in the Senior College. Uh, partly it's to do with our spaces and the buildings we have. We have 500 students in this building in BBC. Uh, but more to the point, we're actually trying to prepare students for Years 11 and 12, but also for life after school. So very much we see the Senior College as a finishing school and we're looking to help students understand careers. So there's some careers work happening in Year 10. Uh, we'd like them to understand very fully their subject and course selections for Years 11 and 12. And so we do a lot of work with parents and students through Year 10. But we're also looking forward to spending time with them uh, with outdoor ed, with, uh, with sport, and a whole lot of other things that they are able to do that would also prepare them for a full life through school and beyond. One of the things for new parents in particular is that we teach the middle years program of the International Bac Baccalaureate as a framework over which we run the New South Wales courses. Uh, we've found in the past that some parents have struggled with the MYP jargon and so in a few weeks time Mrs Lay who is our Director of Learning for MYP will be running a morning session which you'll be able to log on to or see a video afterwards which explains the jargon and explains the processes and what you're expected to see on reports and such things. I'd like particularly to draw parents' attention to the School TV suite of online presentations by uh, Australian experts in adolescent health, uh, mental health, well-being and also in how students and adults for that matter approach disasters and other current issues. Uh, School TV is something that is available to all, all parents. Um, in my newsletters uh, each fortnight I'll be drawing attention to particular issues that are relevant to students at that particular time of the year. You'll be able to log on to any of the articles in the program and um, make use of those things as they might come up for you personally. Uh, particularly for new parents and of course a reminder for the old parents, our organisation is in houses, eight houses, and they are named after English cathedrals. The head of house and tutors are a great way of connecting to the school and finding out any information that you may need. The big difference in senior college is they're allowed to go out at recess and lunch to buy food, get coffee and um, and stretch their legs. In 2021, we're looking to have more personal contact with parents. And we are really looking forward to doing school with you and your students. Hello, and welcome to Year 10 at St Andrews Cathedral School. My name is Eleni Tatsis, and I'm the Director of Learning Senior College. My role is to ensure the academic growth and development of each student by ensuring that their curriculum development and its delivery meet the high standards of the New South Wales Education Authority as well as the International Baccalaureate's Middle Years Program. Part of my role is to help build a positive learning atmosphere across the school community that promotes lifelong learning through a challenging and flexible curriculum. I've been an educator for 26 years and have worked at various independent schools in Sydney's inner city and inner west and have also had the privilege of running educational workshops and training teachers at both a local and international level. What I love about my role at SACS is the interactions that I get to have every day with students, teachers and parents on both an academic and pastoral level. Each interaction is unique and my greatest joy is being able to see students complete their studies having achieved their personal best. 
In year 10 this year, students can expect a rigorous curriculum as they work towards being awarded with a record of school achievement grade at the end of the year by the New South Wales Education Standards Authority. Therefore, there is greater accountability in school attendance and in the completion of assessment tasks. Students will also be undertaking minimum standards testing in literacy, numeracy and writing, whose purpose is to ensure that students leave school equipped with the basic skills needed for everyday life. In terms of the International Baccalaureate Middle Years Program, students can look forward to completing their personal project. The project is a celebration of the students' skills, knowledge and personal interests at the end of Stage 5. It's an amazing project that allows students to work independently on what they are truly passionate about and requires students to use application and evaluation skills essential to independent senior school study. As students enter the senior years, their greatest challenge becomes academic organisation and developing an effective study routine. Parents can help in supporting their children to develop their skills by discussing their assessment schedule with them and helping plan out a routine at home to stay on top of these tasks. Students also have the opportunity to work in the study centre after school here at St Andrews Cathedral School where they can get support and guidance with organisation and attend after school study sessions which can help them improve their English skills, in particular with their maths and English studies. We encourage students to use these facilities as it aids in developing their approach to learning so that they can attend to their final years of study with confidence and resilience. If you have any further questions relating to the Year 10 curriculum or your child's learning, please do not hesitate to contact me. Uh, welcome to Senior College uh, Parents. Uh, my name is Derek Champion. I'm the uh, leader of Wellbeing and Character in Year 7 to 12. Um, I've been uh, at the school for many years and I teach in the HSIE department and uh, I'm also the head of parent for the house. Uh, leader of Wellbeing and Character has an important role in the Senior College, working within the Senior College uh, pastoral team to support heads of house and work alongside um, Ms Sonia Witheridge and Mr David Lindsay. Um, there are a number of ways, uh, particularly, that um, our well wellbeing framework uh, uh, works in the Senior College, and perhaps the main way is with regards to the uh, pastoral program. So the pastoral program uh, basically is made up of many different social and emotional learning uh, activities that take place in uh, Tudor time. And this occurs uh, between 12 and 12.30 each day uh, in, a, in a typical week. And so, for example, um, in year 10, um, we start by looking uh, specifically at uh, healthy relationships and talking to students about ways they can communicate positively with others. Uh, and we couple that with an external speaker, um, your choices, who come in and speak to our students in year sorry, in term one. In, uh, in year 11, um, our program uh, continues to address uh, important themes, uh, specifically uh, looking at, once again, uh, our use of technology, what, what appropriate use of technology uh, looks like, and also how to manage uh, stress and how to lead well. And in year 12, um, one of the programs in particular is our Life Hacks program, where we uh, speak with students uh, and they actually get their hands dirty, learning about things like how to change a tire, um, how to cook, how to, ba how to budget, uh, just important life skills that we, uh, we want them to have as they uh, transition out of school. So um, the position is, uh, has, has a number of things that it does. Uh, the, the pastoral program, the social and emotional learning activities, bringing about positive community and engaging with external experts. Uh, in 2021, something new that we're offering to our SACS community and, uh, our, particularly our parents, is mental health first aid uh, training. This will be uh, a free uh, training for our parents and uh, something that um, we'll be communicating the dates and times for in our newsletters and school correspondence, so please look out for that. So thank you for listening. Uh, welcome back to 2021. A special welcome to our uh, new parents and uh, I look forward to uh, meeting some of you and seeing many of you again this year. Hi, my name's Lynn Jarvis. I'm the Director of Community Engagement here at SACS, and I'd like to welcome you all to 2021, and particularly all our brand new parents to the school. The PNF uh, have two main roles at the school. One is friend raising, which means they really want to help you find a way to connect with other parents at the school. They're very open, they're very warm, they won't con you into doing something you might not want to do. And one of the ways they do this is they have parent conveners. So that's a bit like a class parent 
We have a couple for each U group and the idea is that they help um, you connect with other parents in your U group and they also run a private Facebook page which is ideal if you've got any of those questions like are they supposed to wear sports uniform tomorrow or I've come home with the wrong blazer. So that's a great part of what the PNF do for the school. They also run meetings, which they do in a combination now of online and in person, and they have this great uh, Q&A series called PNF Presents. So an example last year, they did PNF Presents Wellbeing and Character, and they had a whole lot of staff from that areas of the school that you could ask questions. The one thing I would say about our community here at SACS is that once you join us, we never ever like you to leave. So all our students, they graduate, they become old Andrians and we are very fortunate in that they come back and they still participate in the life of the school and they're led by a really vibrant group of graduates who are the old Andrians Association. And then we of course have our wonderful current parents who are fully supported by the Parents and Friends Association and we even have here at SACS a group of Hessians. So a Hessian is either a staff member or a parent who are no longer actively connected with the school but they want to stay involved and they're Hessians because they all come from SACS. We always tell our students here at SACS that they should try and get involved in as many things as possible and that will make the most out of their time at SACS. Well, I'd like to say the same thing to our parents. You have to choose to be involved at SACS and we choose very much to have you involved and there's so many different ways. Even if all you've got time for is to turn up at events, that's fantastic, we will welcome you with open arms. If you have a bit more time, you could volunteer, you could be a startup mentor, you could read to our Gawara students, you could support the PNF and the many events they have. Uh, and that's a really wonderful way to make some great lifelong friendships and really enjoy your time while you're here at the school. So particularly for our new parents, if you want to find out how to get involved with anything at the school, uh, I suggest you read the PNF newsletter that they put together. Also go to the website that has lots of contact details and you can find ways to get in touch. And at any chance, you can always just email the community team, which is community at SACS, and we can help you out and point you in the right direction. We are really looking forward to seeing you in person again in 2021. We've got lots of exciting events planned this year. We have things like the Kiriki Picnic Day, which is our outdoor education centre, which is a great chance you get to go down with your children. You can lounge and have a picnic, or you can do something like climb the high ropes. We have a gala dinner a little bit later in the year, which will be spectacular. We have the Gawara cocktail function, and our PNF do this sensational rooftop Christmas markets. So that's just a few of the really good events coming up this year. It will be down there on the website, it also comes out in the newsletters and we'll email you and let you know what's going on. So you'll have plenty of chances to find out. You'll also get the PNF calendar, that's got the main dates in it, pop them in your diary straight away so you don't miss anything this year. So in whichever way you'd like to participate in life at SACS in 2021, whether it be coming to an event, buying something at the Christmas markets, uh, being an exam scribe, any which way, really look forward to seeing you and you joining part of our warm and inclusive family at SACS. Welcome to parents as we come back into 2021. I very much hope it's not a year like last year. Last year was so hard to navigate with all of the changing rules on COVID-19 and all of the disruptions that brought to us. So I wish you a normal year. We would have wondered at such a wish until 2020, but it makes sense now. So I wish you a year when we can engage fully and normally in physical schooling and when all of our programs can be delivered as proposed. And that includes co-curricular, sport, outdoor education. I think we've gained something from last year. We've gained the reassurance that we are social beings. We need one another and we value living in community. And that's good because SACS is very strong on those elements. We prize community. So I wish you a great year. I wish you a year as parents and students of throwing yourselves into all of the wonderful things that SACS offers. High quality teaching and learning, excellent co-curricular programs, wonderful Christian education, great outdoor education, fabulous sport and I wish you every success. What we seek to do is to have full partnership with our parents so that we can work together
to develop young people of substance and character who will graduate in a way that they are proud of, that our parents are proud of, and that everybody feels indicates they are ready for life beyond school as active adults who lead flourishing lives. So parents do stay finely attuned with what SACS has to offer, do be communicative with us as we hope to be with you, and do engage yourselves fully in the life of the school, whether that be information meetings, evenings, attending performances, coming to sport, joining the PNF, being active in year group meetings. What the research shows is that where parents involve themselves actively in their children's education, the children simply do better because they get the message that mum and dad care deeply about this thing called schooling and that gives them every incentive to strive hard because it aligns the values of home with the values of the school. So I invite you to travel with us in this great journey of educating these precious and special young people.